Well, here you see the uh, front screen or the, uh, uh, the standard screen of the SXE. And you can see here you've got generation, analysis, and logging. It gives you a complete overview of what the system is doing. So we're generating and analyzing in this particular example from the same unit. The colors give away the instrument type, so it couldn't be easier from a color point of view. Press green, anything with green is a generated tool. And here you can see how easy it is to use the thumb switch to select the different types of uh, standards. So we go from SD all the way up to 3G, beyond 3G to 2K. So let's stay on HD just for a second. The system's clever enough to give you uh, a selection of the different color spaces and, uh, and frame rates that are associated with that. So it takes away all of the complication of uh, selecting the format that you're using. And you've got a selection of over 38 um, patterns here that you can choose. Uh, and again, they're supported by all of the standards, SD, HD, and 3G. Uh, if you want to put a moving box on, it's very simple. Select a moving box, and that will tell you if the, the, uh, the video uh, signal is, is stationary or still moving. So let me just turn it off as we go forward. Not only does um, uh, video, but it obviously can generate audio as well. Here's audio pairs one and two, three and four. And this can be varied noise, white noise, etc. And you can set the dB levels to a master level. Um, also, it's the only unit in the world that will support um, Dolby streaming. So Dolby metadata here, it has CAN streams, which are on license from Dolby. And these can be used to fault check a particular system for Dolby E, Dolby D, and Dolby D+. Well, that's the generating tool. If you move across to analysis, they're the purple tools. So again, you can see the purple at the side here indicating that you're analyzing now. Here's the picture that's coming in. If the picture uh, ever goes away, then the screen will look like this, that there's no video present. As soon as you uh, enter the signal, I'll just plug this back in, and it locks immediately to the signal, it tells you exactly what the format is in the top window here. Uh, more importantly, of course, you can select the cursors if you wish, which will track all the way through the system. And these can be accessed by um, using the little wheel and then pulling in the particular cursor that you need. Um, you can zoom in to find uh, any particular picture faults. Oh, there's a cursor there, let me just come out of that. Um, you can uh, select the line that you're interested in, so let's take it beyond the 28 so we don't get that, that annoying fault, uh, which comes in with line 28. You can zoom into a picture, and then again, this is now pixel for pixel. And if you select the picture, it's very easy for you to move around the picture to find the fault. And once you've got the cursor set on the pixel, you can use the other sophisticated tools within the unit to track what the problem is. You've obviously got waveforms. You've obviously got vector scopes. Um, but here's the money shot. This is what this system is known for. It is unique as the only portable platform that supports iron jitter. This is a pathological analyzer, effectively. Uh, the competition. Um, not that they can do a portable, but anything coming close to an iPad is going to cost you probably about three times more than a Fabrics unit. And this is in every major manufacturer around the world, every major broadcaster. So the quality of this iPad is second to none, and that's why it's won over 14 awards uh, for this particular technology. You've also got the ability to look at the jitter uh, in a signal in more detail with complete filtering across a range of uh, a range of signal types and, and uh, cable types. You've also got cable length for measurement, again, quite a useful tool. Moving away from the traditional tools, moving into audio, here you can see you've got 16 channels of audio, uh, ranging from Dolby, right the way through to uh, ASI, and uh, channels uh, 1 and 2, 3 and 4. So 16 channels of uh, audio you can select. And again, we've got that unique Dolby analysis. Moving on to signal uh, information, here you can see CRC and EDH errors. This is where you'd see the flags if you found a fault uh, on your signal, so very easy to use. And then you've got uh, ANC status. So with one view, one particular frame, you can see what the signal is carrying. In this case, we can see uh, HD audio and a range of other um, um, ancillary packets. Full logging is uh, available. And of course, the logging can be accessed remotely from your desktop. This is a web server in its own right. So you simply plug in an Ethernet cable, bring up any browser of your choice, put in the IP number, and up will come this in your, in your, uh, on your monitor. And you've also got cross-control 
you could have a, um, a junior engineer out in the field pressing the buttons and these would be recorded and repeated in about a three frame delay uh, on the browser which can be uh, situated somewhere else in the facility. So there you go, a quite unique piece of equipment available from Ideal uh, now in, uh, in Asia. Thank you.